Maine's second largest low barrier homeless shelter in Bangor is still searching now for a partner to run the shelter. And those who run the Hope House say they'll be forced to close it if they don't find a new owner by next October. Other organizations that support the greater Bangor area's unhoused community say the potential closing of the Hope House could be detrimental for the city. New Center Maine's Raya Wooten tells us more. How bad uh, do you think that it would be if Hope House is potentially out of the equation. It would be horrendous. Penobscot Community Health Care CEO and President Lori Dwyer says the lack of funding, the housing crisis, and other roadblocks makes it untenable to continue to underwrite the losses associated with providing low barrier emergency shelter services. Director of Bangor Area Homeless Shelter Boyd Cronum runs a dry shelter for sober unhoused people. He says if the Hope House closes, the shelter he runs, as well as other shelters in the area, likely won't be able to fill the gap. Homelessness is like a symptom. There's different causes. To solve homelessness is one issue, but the issue to keep the Hope House open is funding. Cronholm says with inflation and steady increases in minimum wage, even his shelter struggles to manage operation costs. He calls for state legislature to do more. The amount that the state contributes to um, to these homeless shelters has not gone up. It's been the same amount. I've been here seven years and it's not gone up more than a few pennies or a few dollars. Everybody wants it to kind of just go away. Executive Director of Fresh Start Scott Party says his nonprofit houses people recovering from drug and alcohol addiction. When people fail out of Fresh Start, they often turn to Hope House for shelter. When I was growing up, you didn't see homeless people on the street you, in Bangor. You just didn't see them. You know, people took care of people. Cronholm says Bangor is a service city, a place where unhoused people who live in cities that don't have shelters are often dropped off and left. These other local communities um, have no homeless response system. So what their homeless response system is will drive them to Bangor and put them at Hope House or the, or the Bangor area shelter. And then it becomes Hope House and Bangor area shelters issue in the city of Bangor is issue on what to do with them. In Bangor, Raya Wooten, News Center, Maine. In July, Governor Mills signed a budget that added $12 million in one-time funding to the Emergency Housing Relief Fund to support needs in communities around the state.